This video is going to show you a sweep tool example, and I'm also going to use the shell. So let's just go ahead and start sketching here. I'm going to start on the bottom face to create essentially the profile of my sweep. I'm going to use the center rectangle just so my origin is right in the middle. Let's do just like a two by two, very simple square. All I need on this first sketch. The second sketch is going to be in the perpendicular plane to that. So I have two options here. It doesn't really matter which one I select. I'm just going to click this one. I'm going to do a line from the origin. And this would just basically be the extent. I don't know why I'm getting degrees here. Um, I'm just going to do like six inches. I'm going to make like a simple vase, small little vase. So that would be my path. And I'm also going to put in a guide rail because I'm going to demonstrate how to do that as well. Um, I don't know, a couple arcs just make something kind of interesting. I'm going to put a tangent like I generally do. And I'm going to make sure that these are horizontal with each other that, so that these are on the same plane, which that becomes more important with the more complex type of things. And I'll just grab. Under the solid menu, let's grab the sweep tool. I'm going to kind of go at a three-quarter angle here, almost an isometric. Now, up here I have some options. Single path, path and guide rail, path and guide surface. I'm going to start with the simplest guide path. My profile is that square that I made. And for path, I'm going to choose that center line. Now, this is basically just an extrusion, right? That's something I could have done the extruded tool with, but I'll show you right now using the guide path why sweep is different than extrude. So now if I go to the guide rail, excuse me, not guide path, I can use this third piece of information and you'll see that it changes quite a bit. So I went from having just a straight extrusion to something vastly different and more complicated. Probably looks more like an urn at this point, but you guys get the idea. I could even go back. This is the power of these types of tools, right? I can go back and modify this. Change a little bit, and it will change my object. I can do some interesting stuff here. I can cut this in half and see what half of it looks like. Let's go to split. I'm going to turn my origin on. I'm going to split this body. For splitting tool, I'm just going to select one of these origin planes. It's going to bisect it. If it lets me, let's go over here. Let's select that one. So let's cut this thing in half. All right, now for bodies, I have two different bodies. I can cut one off and see what it looks like. And kind of check thickness of different parts but here's my favorite thing to do is roll back put in a shell let's call it 0.125 shell it out and kind of understand this is hollow but what does that look like redo my split body turn one side off and see what it looks like i can see that i essentially have a vase here now I can just as easily roll back on both of those and get back to my solid body. So you can see the sweep feature really um, allows you to be creative, allows you to do uh, infinitely more complex shapes than your basic extrude tool. With just a couple pieces of information, I need a starting path. I need a path, excuse me, I need a starting profile, a path to uh, extend that profile on and then I have the option which is not necessary but I have the option of doing the guide rails to add um, another constraint or another uh, design element. Hope that was helpful and good luck on yours.